To quote the hyper-energetic Mark Sowby, our chief entrepreneur, we plan to move the dial here. When Prime Minister Turnbull came to power, he changed the, uh, he changed the agenda. All of a sudden, innovation was in the game. And whilst I think we grew to hate the word innovation, it was a good thing and much overdue. Then we had the federal election, and now it's seen as hard to sell the message of innovation to a sceptical public who are probably quite rightly so concerned about some of those messages, the confusing messages of innovation, of disruption, especially of the word automation, because they all know what that means. So we needed a message to sell them back, because this is stuff is really important. And when I was sitting on the weekend thinking how I was going to do this, I thought I'll go down to the pub and have a few beers and think about it. And so, my wife's here, I love her as well. Uh, that's what I was doing on Saturday, sweetheart. Um, and so what it is, I, I took out my, my smartphone because so much of the, of the protest and so much of the, the angst about innovation disruption comes through social media. So I took my Android smartphone and I calculated the market cap and how many people the companies employed that are on the home screen only of my smartphone. And it came to $2.6 trillion, employing over 500,000 very well-paid people who don't need a single port, bridge, highway or similar piece of infrastructure constructed to support them. Conversely, they build their own telecoms networks, data centres and campuses. Trust me, I did that in the US for one of those companies worth $750 billion of that $2.6 trillion. And by the way, if that was an iPhone, that's $3.6 trillion and over 600000 the entire market capitalization on the, of the ASX on a good day is $1.7 trillion. That's the home page of my Android. We are losing and we need to start winning. Government has it right here, but it's up to us to make it work. The precinct is not River City Labs. It's a collection of community brought together that needs to be greater than the sum of its parts. We already have a precinct acting as a precinct and attracting others to the area, such as Crumo, the local digital startup powerhouse, now employing 60, about to be 120. That's short right there. Right next door, not in the precinct, but next door, attracted here because there's something special going on. We need more of this. Great things will start here. This place will allow us not only to openly network, but also engineer the accidental creative collisions of people that we need in order to build great teams, attacking huge problems that will make us all richer. We need government helping out and we thank them, but then we, need the, we don't need them picking winners and they need to get the hell out of the way. We need to support young, smart, business savvy people and get out of their way. They're the winners we need to back. Once we do that, we can fully realise the vision of this place and really start to move the dial. Thank you.